and I'm stealing the honey off these bees. Here's a, an out apiary with a, they're on a double, double brew box, and actually a double super as well. Now, I'm stealing the honey off them, but they are not trying to sting me. So, I'll be in quite a state here now if every one of these bees is trying to attack me as I steal their honey. But they're not, so that's a good thing. Uh, the bees, the bees are quite mongrel. They've got um, quite a lot of honey stripes on them, so they're not they're not black bees. They're mongrel bees, and um, I'm trying to take. I've taken a super of honey off them, and in the top super. I took one super that was above the queen excluder off and that had one frame of brood in it which I put in the super below. That has quite a lot of honey in it too but I'm going to leave that for them. So they live, they live in this orchard. So they have apples to pollinate in the spring and through the other side of the hedge is a hay field has just been cut for hay. Um, my management style for these bees is extremely lazy. I leave them alone. I don't inspect them. I don't treat them. I just uh, take the honey off them occasionally. And that's, that's all I do. Um, they have been inspected by the bee inspector, so he's had to dive right down through all those boxes and go into the brew box. But I'm afraid I, I don't. Now one day, one day they'll keel over I expect. But they've been doing this for a few years now. Lots of bees in the box and they seem quite, uh, they seem quite happy to be left alone and to make some honey. There's a lot of bees on the, the top here at the moment. They're just taking the honey down and disturbed by moving the two boxes. I'll give them a bit more time just to gather that honey up and then I'll scrape the top of those frames, put the queen excluder back on and put all the boxes back. I think there are three, except one. So this one won't go back on. Um, I might put another box on with the wet honey frames when I've taken what honey I can get out of them. Then I'll bring the box back with the wet frames and um, put them back on top of this uh, this hive. That I, could feed out. I won't feed them. I won't feed them in the winter. Um, apart from give them a lump of fondant. So any honey that they make now, they've got quite a lot of honey in here and any honey that they make between now and spring they will keep um, unless we have an extraordinary strange year and the, there's three boxes full of ivy then I won't take any, any honey off them. Right, well the queen excluder is now here, so that's two brew boxes, one super, and there are three supers on above the green excluders. These bees are quite happy to have a hole in the uh, cover of the crown board, and sometimes I might, well, in fact, I'll put these these scrapings that I've taken off the tops of the frames. I can put on here and they will uh, just clean those up and I'll take them away as a bit of wax eventually. So these beads will go in sooner or later and uh, yeah 13 frames, unlucky for some, but a touch of wood, uh, 13 frames of honey taken off which for this year is a good haul because uh, it's getting quite difficult to make any honey this year it seems. But, uh, yeah, so it's, 
that's that's that one. No, I've got four other colonies in this acre, and uh, I shouldn't think there's going to be much honey in any of the other three. Yeah. The other four. I shouldn't think there's going to be much, but this one seems to do well for the honey maiden. Uh, these are bees from the from the other hive, and again, pretty mongrel. Some haven't got any um, honey stripe, and are quite dark, and some haven't quite pronounced but fast indicator. So yeah, mongrel bees. There was quite a bit of honey in this hive, but not much of it that was really sort of capped. So I'm taking a, a few frames out and um, some of that was old honey, I think, that was capped. And I'm leaving them to get on with it. If the weather's good for the next three weeks, then there might be some honey to take from this hive. If not, they'll start eating it and there won't be anything. This has got a much more traditional setup with a brew box, with the queen excluder above the brew box, and it did have four supers on. It's now going to have three supers on and one super above the crown ball with small frames in it. Uh, having looked at that and taken honey off that one and the one in the middle, I'm not going to do the other three today. They could do with a bit more time and uh, if we're lucky and the weather holds for the next couple of weeks. No smell of ivy in these hives, so the honey they've been making is from something else. So it's quite possible that in a week or so, there might be some nice honey to take. No ankle stings, didn't have to wear the Wellington boots today, but I have them with me just in case.